This story is called Waking Beauty by Leah Wilcox. Similar to the story Sleeping Beauty, but it's a little bit different. Once upon a Saturday, in search of dragons he could slay, Prince Charming heard a dreadful sound that shook the land for miles around. It thundered from a castle tall. He raced to scale its prickly wall. A dragon lies within, he cried, and hand on sword, he crept inside. Then hung his head, oh, rats, he said, it's just a snoring girl in bed. He peeked behind her canopy and spied some fairies, one, two, three. She snored this way for 100 years. They whimpered through their fairy tears. That long, he frowned. She sure sleeps late. Wake her up. Why do you wait? The fairy scowled. Don't be so dense. She'll only wake for a prince. We see you finally made the trip. Now give the girl a little lift. Okay, he said, if you insist. He drew his mouth up in a twist and hollered, wake up, lazy bones. Her snores drowned out the fairy groans. They shook their heads. No, not like this. You have to wake her with a... Hey, I know. He tapped his head and started jumping on the bed. Beauty shot up, hoops and all, and sailed down like a parasol. This did not wake the maiden fair, but loosed the cobwebs in her hair. The fairies all began to hiss. She'll only wake with true love's wait. Prince Charming waved his hand. Don't worry, girls, I understand. And stooping over her snoring stout, he dumped a water pitcher out. As she slept, she did not stir. Thick dust had turned to mud on her. The feisty fairies grabbed his ear, making certain he could hear. Take careful aim, you must not miss. You have to wake her with a... Oh, I know what you were planning, Prince Charming spied a castle cannon. He stuffed the sleeping beauty in. She soon came shooting out again, kaboom! She fell into the moat where all of her hoops kept her afloat. Still, on she snored as frightened trout and crocodiles jumped right out. Prince Charming fished the girl ashore. The fairies yelled, enough, no more. They fluttered round him, feeling frantic. How can you be so unromantic? She won't have ever after bliss until you wake her with a kiss. The prince's knees began to shake. His noble heart began to quake. 100 years of mourning breath? Wow, that could be the kiss of death. He poked her muddy matted curls. I've heard that there are germs on girls. He wiped her mouth clean with his shirt. I hope, he squeaked, this doesn't hurt. He puckered his lips, met beauties, smack, and in her sleep, she kissed him back. Prince Charming smiled. Not bad, he said. The maiden sat up in her bed. She stretched and yawned and rubbed her eyes. Then much to everyone's surprise. She popped Prince Charming with her fist. Who said that you could have a kiss? The pummeled prince slid down, poor chap, and fell asleep on Beauty's lap. Beauty groaned and meant to shake him. Fairies, tell me how to wake him. Oh, just let the poor boy sleep, they said, and tired too, they went to bed. But fairy tales can't end like this. We know she woke him with a kiss. The end.